my series Computers for Dummies. In this episode, you will be learning how to use your Windows Live Movie Maker. Just beginning to start. Begin by, start by starting on clicking on it. I have it as a shortcut. A way how else to find it is, is search in your programs and files and search Windows Live Movie Maker. Here it is. You're going to want to start by adding a title. Sometimes it's easier to name your title. It's easier to name your title once you already have your movie. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now. To add photos or videos, click on the photos or videos button. Go to your videos and choose one. Here's one of me on the floor. Now, in the beginning it'll have to load. It'll say something about loading. It's preparing video for improved playback. Back performance. It'll have a tow bar. Mine just finished loading. Here's it so far. Now, if you want to add music, you just press add music. If you want to add it at a current point, you go like this. Say I want it before my, after my title. I press add music, arrow, add music at current point. Now click on the music that you want, and it'll go there. Now press play. Now, if I want to add a, qu a caption, a caption to this video, I just press on the button caption. Now I'll enter my text. And if I want to change my font, my font and text stuff, I'll change my font. Let's see, poor Richard. I want it a little bit bigger. I have bold, but not italics. And I want to change the picture, the color to, let's say, green. Now, here's it so far my blank title, and then me rolling on the floor with the caption and the music. And now if I want to add a little animation, I can just go through these and explore. Here. Here's opening a page. I'll click on that one. And effects. I can do black and white. I can do blue. I can do color motions. I can do almost anything I want to. Here, I can do colors. Veriness and me spinning around. Let's do colors. And project is just how we do our widescreen. That's for technical problems. And video tools. Say I want to split this in half. Say if I want to cut this, I'll go to the point where I want to stop it. I'll press split, and over here I'll right click on my on my bar. I'll right click on my mouse, my keyboard, and I'll either press remove or I can press the delete button on my keyboard. Now it's now it's cut. For music tools, I can also split that. Good. I can also split music in half too. Now you can, and just, and also at the ending you can put your credits.
Here, just something simple. And it'll automatically and it'll automatically scroll for you. And with this, you can also change the font, the color, the bold, the italics, and everything in the size. Here, say I want poor Richard again. And I want it to be size 48. Let's just make it a little bigger. I'll make it in italics and bold this time. And I want it to be pink. And it'll automatically scroll. In the settings here, this is how you choose the control. This can go swipe down, this can open, and just play around with it. It'll be fun. And now the time where it comes to save. You press on save movie. You can do it for high definition display, burn to a DVD, for computer, or for an email, or for all different phones. What I usually do is I usually do for computer. And I'll go into my published videos. And I'll do this me rolling. And then I'll end up saving the movie. Depending on how long or how short it is, it's how fast it will go. It'll ask you if you want to play your movie. I recommend playing it so you can see how it ended up. Remember the no title? Was amazing. That's how you how you move Windows Live. That's how you use Windows Live Movie Maker. And and if you stay tuned for the ne for the for the next video, I'll show you how to use Windows DVD Maker and how to burn it onto a DVD. Here's here's a preview.